But first, infant twins discovered dead. What police say happened when their mother let officers into her home. Good evening, I'm Maurice Dubois. And I'm Christine Johnson. And that's where we begin tonight. Officers discovered the nearly six-week-old infants dead inside their home. CBS 2's Ali Bauman live outside the 114th precinct in Astoria, where the baby's mom is now in police custody. Ali? Christina Maurice, the medical examiner, is working to determine the twins' cause of death. Police say the mother's cousin requested a wellness check for the babies after they spoke on the phone. The cousin told police the mother did not sound right. And when officers went inside the apartment, what they found was gut-wrenching. The Woodside houses on 51st Street in Queens, a tragic crime scene Thursday afternoon. Police were called to a fifth-floor apartment around 3 p.m. A uh, family member was concerned. Um, about the children's welfare, called 911. Police say the 23 year old mother let officers inside. Sources say she said, I do not want them. Police found a nearly six week old baby unresponsive in a crib with what appeared to be stab wounds. Officers questioned the mother about the second baby and she pointed towards the sink. That's where they found the baby's twin also unresponsive and wrapped in a pink blanket in a bag under the sink. I'm like, I'm a mom. Heartbreaking. It just really affects me. Shortly after, EMS pronounced the twins dead, one boy and one girl. Never want to hear about things like that, especially when it comes to children. Police recovered a knife from the scene and took the young mother in for questioning. We're told she has no criminal history. It's not fair at all. It's not fair. I just think it's so sad that that had to happen. I just wish it wasn't so close to home. The mother is still being questioned inside the precinct here at this hour. She has not been charged. It's unclear if anyone else was living in that apartment. We're live outside the 114th precinct in Astoria, Queens. Allie Bauman, CBS2 News. All right, Allie, thank you.